it's Emily from JustTryingToBlog.com. Today I'm going to be making spaghetti squash pesto in the crock pot. So I just want to have a disclaimer, it does take about three to four hours to cook in the crock pot. So make sure you have that amount of time. If you do not have that amount of time and you really want a spaghetti squash, you can cook it in the microwave for 15 minutes or in the stove top for 375 degrees for 30 minutes. But I'm choosing to do the crock pot. First thing is first, you want to get your supplies. You need a spaghetti squash. You need a knife, a pretty sharp knife to be able to cut the squash. An ice cream scoop, a cutting board, some water, and a crock pot. So once you have all your supplies ready, you're gonna to wanna to wash your spaghetti squash. Once it's nice and clean, you wanna you're gonna cut it right down the middle. So right straight down the middle is where you're gonna cut this way. And once you cut that right down the middle, you're gonna see a lot of stringy stuff and seeds in there. It's kind of like a pumpkin. So you, that's where your ice cream scoop comes in handy. You're gonna peel all this stuff out. You don't wanna be cooking a squash with that in. You really wanna get all the seeds out. Once you do that, it looks like that. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna get your crock pot and put about two inches of water on the bottom. You do not wanna cook anything in your crock pot for four hours without any liquid on the bottom, so make sure you put some water. It's not gonna affect the flavor of the spaghetti squash. Once that's ready, you're gonna get your squash and you're gonna put it face down like that, this in the crock pot. My crock pot has a timer, so I'm gonna set it for three hours on high. And then in three hours from now, three to four hours, depending on the size of your spaghetti squash, your spaghetti squash will be ready to make the pesto. So stay tuned for my next video and I will be making my pesto and I'll be peeling the spaghetti squash. So stay tuned.